to show the whole world what we're all about. Be the girls with a passion for fashion. Ooh, rats. We'll always be there for each other. Ooh, rats. Yeah. Styling how we feel. Ooh, talking about best friends. Yeah. Together we can do anything. We all gotta plan the dream. Take a chance and believe. Make it real. Rats. editor of Bratz Magazine. Also, I have my very own rockin' column called, what else? Dear Chloe, I'm really into helping readers with their problems, especially when it comes to relationships. For example, dear Chloe, my boyfriend says he wants to hook up with other girls and still see me. What do I do? Signed, confused. Dump him! Some solutions aren't that easy, like this one. Dear Chloe, my BFFs and I are crushing on the same hottie, help! Signed, Desperate. In this case, though, I can draw on my own experience. Dear Desperate, let me tell you about a similar thing that happened to me and the Bratz Pack. Calling all girls, be on the lookout for a tall, dark, and rockin' high. Gotta keep it cool. Can't let on that I think he's super fine. Cool outfit. Thanks. Yes! He totally noticed my fashion forward style and I didn't lose it. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. Guys, guys, I just saw a major hottie. Guys? Sorry, <laughs> we were just checking out Shane. Shane? You know him? He's in my English class. My heart almost exploded when he walked in the room. Heads up, ladies, here he comes. Everybody just chill. Hey, Yasmin. Oh, hi, Shane, right? These are my friends, Jade and Chloe. Hi. hi. Hey, what's up? Not much, we were just talking about um, tunes. Oh, very cool. Which bands are you guys into? Me? I'm an Usher fan. That man can sing! Yeah, that's cool. Sorry, I gotta take this. See you ladies around. Okay, emergency broadcast people. That boy is mine! Y'all can just back up? I don't think so. He's mine. MINE! I claim so him first. I saw him first. Besides, Sasha, you can't tell us who to date. I can in this case. Bird Breath's face is like so plastic, I bet it comes with the warning, keep away from open flames. Yeah, which is why she like never has candles on her birthday cake. Her cheeks would like drip all over the icing. So here's where you two worthless interns have been hiding. Get back to work this instant. Chop, chop. She's like so nasty wasty. I wish her whole head would like just explode. Then she'd like make us clean it up. Then I wish she'd just get fat and float away like a great big blimp. Hi, sweeties. My, what adorable shoes. Ah! <gasps> How can Bertine be in like two places at once? Forget that. What is she ever like nice? You get more gorgeous with every facelift. Now it is it, you annoying minions. Did your bubblegum get stuck in the fax machine again? It was like an accident, we swear. Is everything all right? There's like only one logical explanation. Bertine is an alien! Ah! We should all be able to go out with Shane if we want to. 
Oh, yeah? Well, what about Cameron? What about him? It's not like we're going out or anything. Right. right. Whatever. If me or Chloe or Yaz... Oh, forget it. No guy is worth our friendship, no matter how hot he is. You guys fight it out. Can't we just share? Not cool! So, do you know where, like, they keep all the books around here? You mean the library? Why would you want to know that? Because we, like, think Bardeen is an alien, but we want to check out, like, a science book, just to be sure. Good thinking. Look, we'd love to stay in chat, but our spaceship is leaving in three minutes. Oh, no! The whole planet is, like, being taken over by aliens! Verdine! Ah! Bernice, what a surprise. An unexpected visit from my beloved twin. Kiss, kiss. I must say, you're looking much, much better. Those silicone lips are finally beginning to even out. <laughs> they almost look half natural. You look fabulous, too. That disfiguring scar from your last facelift is almost unnoticeable. So, what are you doing in town? Just popped in for a quick visit? Actually, I've relocated here. I was just made president, CEO, and chairman of everything cosmetics, making me the reigning queen of beauty. Congratulations! Although it's not quite the same thing as being founder, president, and editor of Your Thing magazine and the reigning queen of fashion, but then, oh, what is? <laughs> How to tell if your boss is an alien? Clue number one, aliens are often nice one minute and mean the next. <gasps> Two, they act weird around electrical appliances. Three, they have occasional amnesia. Hmm. Hey, Yasmin. Oh, hi, Shane. You know, I'm into yoga, too. Really? You want to join me in a lotus? Yeah, cool. Uh, need some help? No, I, I do this all the time. It's just that I, uh, I can't focus on an empty stomach. Want to grab a tofu burger with me? Uh-oh. I said I wouldn't date Shane. But then again, this is too last minute to really count as a date, right? So I really believe there's a soulmate out there just for me. Oh, right. Who knows, Yasmin? Maybe between your yin and my yang, we can find a way to meld with nature and bathe in the light. Uh, look, Shane, I think you're totally awesome, and I like you as a friend, but... Oh, oh, no, I, I didn't mean me and you, babe. I meant me and Jade. So what do you think? Do I stand a chance? Well, she's certainly not into guys who are super into yoga. She only goes for the super styling type. Tight. I could do that. I hope our takeout's ready. I am so starving. Hey! What's Miss Not Worth Our Friendship doing out with my boyfriend? My, my boyfriend. boyfriend! Well, I have two assistants. Well, I have two interns and a personal shoe shopper. Unlimited blubber-based lip gloss. Unlimited deep tissue toe massages. You know, I could pull my company's advertising out of your thing. You wouldn't. I would. Unless... Unless what, you despicable excuse for a sibling? Unless you put me on the cover of your pathetic excuse for a magazine. Get out! Out, you duplicitous! What do you want? Yes, Entertainment Stylesville. You want to do a profile on the city's two most powerful twins? Well, my sister and I would love to. They're sending a camera crew here tomorrow. Perfection! Mother of pink! My skin! I've got to get an emergency chemical peel. Darling, I just had one yesterday. Mind if I stay in your office until you get back? 
Of course not, darling. Kiss, kiss. kiss. It is so not cool for Yasmin to hit on Shane when she promised she wouldn't. Especially knowing how badly we're crushing on him. Oh, can we ever trust her again? Well, speak of the two-faced, backstabbing, boy-stealing she-double. We know what's going down. Yeah, we saw you with Shane. Big deal. I told him I just wanted to be friends, and he told me he's into Jade. Jade? Me? Really? So, like, all we have to do is plug in these appliances and see if Bourdine starts acting all bizarro. And then we'll, like, know for sure if she's from outer space. Turns of Burdines. <laughs> Love that pattern on your dress. Mother of Pink, what on earth are all these appliances doing here? Ask those atrociously trained assistants of yours. <gasps> what is it? Oh, well, it's about time. My office is ready. You're leaving. What a shame. Here, let me get the door for you. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. I don't see any traces of, like, green blood. Maybe her blood is invisible. Ah! Please don't vaporize us! Yeah! We're, like, too young to become particles! You two should take a day off. Huh? Absolutely. In fact, you darling should have the entire week off, starting now. Did you hear that? No work for a whole week. Nito, let's go get our stuff and get out of here before she changes her Martian mind! Where have you two worthless weasels been? You have a ton of work to do! But you said we could, like, have the week off! What?! Have you finally lost your last brain cell? I said no such thing. Now get busy! Alien symptom number three. Am Amnesia! You know... I've never been big on shampoos with built-in conditioners. You just can't cut corners if you want to look super styling. I haven't been this bored since I was at the mall without a credit card. Ooh, can I borrow that, babe? Babe? So, you want to dance? And mess up my hair? And the way he checked out his brows in my mirror? Freaky. So it was cool for you to do a face check, but not him? Weird, I got a totally different vibe from him. Like he was a major granola head. Trust me, the guy knows more about hair products than I do. Of course, Kate Moss is only five feet seven inches tall. I don't believe it. No, really, she may be the shortest supermodel ever. No, I don't believe that. Sasha is out with Shane. Oh, Sasha, what else are you doing behind my back? I mean, other than seeing Shane. Excuse me? You made it pretty clear the other day that you were not interested. I never said my decision was final. Yeah, and I never said I was a mind reader. And FYI, he was totally joking about not wanting to dance. We took over the floor at pins. Although the guy dances like a penguin. Whatever, you were still wrong to go out with him. Uh, let me get this straight. You can tell me who to go out with, but I can't tell you? Fine, let's make a pact. From now on, all guys are fair game. Fine, fine, not fine. This is not gonna end well. 
I so can't believe Cameron's flirting with Roxy right in front of me. Oh, hi, Shane. Hey, so, um, Chloe, want to hang out tomorrow afternoon? Sure. W wait, what about Sasha? She just wants to be friends, which is cool. Besides, I didn't like how she was checking out other guys all the time. I know just what you mean. Who knows? Maybe I wasn't exciting enough for... Shane, don't say that. You're cute and sweet and nice and... So tomorrow afternoon? Unless you'd rather not. Hey, guess who's finally up to bat? Are you, like, sure this stuff will keep us safe from Bertine's extraterrestrial alien powers? Positive. The guy on the infomercial set is guaranteed. Here, spray the bottoms of her shoes. It'll stop her from, like, sending transmissions to the mother ship. Neato! This is, like, deluxe anti-radiation stuff. All I have to do is spray Bertine's clothes, and she won't be able to emit radiation anymore. May cause severe itching and red blotches. Oh, bummer. Sasha! Sasha! I just want to tell you that Shane asked me out, and I know we have this packed thing, so it's okay, especially since you told him that you just want to be friends anyway, and... Uh, gotta go, Roxy. Gotta go, Megan. Hold it, Chloe. Shane and I have a date Friday night. And Megan just told me she has a date with him Saturday night. And Roxy's seeing him on Sunday. But he just told me he wasn't seeing anyone else. He said the same thing to me. And me. He's a liar. And a cheat. Guys, that was Dylan. You're not gonna believe this. He said Shane is dating every girl in school and rating them on a scoreboard he keeps in the boys' locker room. Yeah. Apparently, Jade and I got five stars. Oh my gosh! How many stars did I get? Chloe! Chloe. What were we thinking? That boy almost wrecked our friendship. So, so not, not cool. cool. Come on, people. Someone's got to teach that boy a lesson. Soon the viewing public will know who the real star in my family is. Me. Me, 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 me. Where on earth have you two loiterers been? School. It just got out. Spare me your excuses. My sister, Bernice, and that camera crew are going to be here in an hour, and I simply must look a hundred times better than her. Will I help you get ready? How about these shoes? And this suit? Perfection! I'll get ready as soon as I change the light bulbs. Oh, Shane, I'm so amped you finally asked me out. I would have done it sooner, but... I was intimidated by your beauty. So, you're really not seeing anyone else? No way, babe. It's you and only you. Sorry, gotta take this. Be back in five? Anyone sitting here? Just you. Look, I know you're into Jade, but... Actually, Jade's energy just doesn't flow with mine. Awesome, because, well, I was thinking, we may be soulmates after all. Me too. What do you say we plan a nature walk and see where it takes us, babe? Awesome. We can leave as soon as I get my smoothie. Be right back. Wait. I, I meant later on. Shane! Here you are. So, are we still on for the movie? Just you and me, babe. Uh, what are you doing? Joining you. Unless you have a problem with that. Uh, actually... Pretty princess. She's only five minutes late. Give her a chance. I, I gotta be somewhere. Until Friday. Shane! Wanna come to a blow-drying seminar with me this weekend? Sure, babe. I'll call you. Chloe! How about we go, uh, blading? Like, now. But we haven't eaten yet. But, babe, eating is so overrated. <laughs> hey, soulmate. I'm ready for our hike. <gasps> soulmate? Yasmin, Shane's with me. No, he's with me. No, with me. With, with, with me. me. With 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 me.
interns. You ruined our lunch. Now go and get me and my sister a replacement order. Chop, chop. Sister. Come on, they're over here. Hello, I'm Verdeen Maxwell. And I'm Bernice Maxwell. Which and we're the two most powerful twins. Oh, mother of oh, hey, What are you doing? Get off me, you impertinent klutz. Who are you calling a klutz, you blood-sucking serpent? Mother always liked me best. You. Cut! Me! Me! Well, I hope we taught Shane a lesson. Don't mess with the Bratz Pack. Or anybody else. Casey! Casey! I met this really neato guy named Shane who says he's like my soulmate. Really? What a cranky dig. I did too. Um, uh, like, what's a soulmate? Someone who, like, has your exact same taste in shoes, dumbsicle. Aww, poor, poor Shane. Shane. So, what advice will I give Miss Desperate? Never, ever let a guy come between you and your BFFs. Come to think of it, that solution wasn't so hard after all. Totally. totally. At least one good thing came out of our experience with Shane. A rockin' article titled, How to Make a Bad Boy Cry, A Bratz Guide to Getting Even. Everybody now.